one may definitely know what is incense. Of course, it is a sweet and pleasing smell. But do you know why do churches use incense? Let's know about it. The use of incense in religious worship started more than 2000 years ago. The first account of incense being mentioned in the Bible is Exodus, where God commanded Moses to build an altar whereupon Aaron is to burn incense morning and evening. This shows us that burning incense is an offering to God and that it is also pleasing to him. The New Testament also records the use of incense. Frankincense was one of the precious gifts brought by the three kings to the baby Jesus as a sign of his role as priest in addition to his roles as prophet and king. In his apocalyptic visions of heaven, St. John the Apostle recorded that he saw incense being used at God's heavenly throne in Revelation chapter 5, 6 through 8. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each holding a harp and with golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. In this passage, incense is identified with the prayers of the saints. In another passage in Revelation, tells us that incense is added to the prayers of saints by an angel, highlighting the mediation of the angels in our worship of God. When we see incense at Mass, it reminds us of heaven, and it should remind us that our worship of God in the Christian liturgy is divine. Incense also reminds us to that our prayer rises to God like the smoke from the censor, purifying our worship of Him. The holy sacrifice of the Mass transcends space and time, while the use of incense helps the worshipper to enter into this eternal reality through the use of our external senses. Incense is a sacramental used to sanctify, bless and venerate. The smoke from the incense is symbolic of the mystery of God himself. As it rises upward, the imagery and smell convey the sweetness of our Lord's presence and it reinforces how the Mass is linked to heaven and earth, ending in the very presence of God. The general instruction of the Roman Missal permits the use of incense at several times during the Mass. When something is incensed, the censer is swung three times, which represents the three persons of the Blessed Trinity. There are different times during the Mass that incense may be used, and it is used during the entrance procession at the beginning of Mass to incense the altar and the cross, before the Gospel reading, after the bread and chalice are placed on the altar to incense the offerings, the cross, the altar, the priest, and finally the people. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this content is helpful, please like this video and click that subscribe button.